Yeah, we'll say about Vancouver. Thank did a proper intro to this vlog but we're in Vancouver just for a day trip and we got here in the morning we went to a bunch know. of cafes and now we're at like a French patisserie mm, it's really good basically we've just been eating a ton of food I'm not mad about it though We are now on our way to Stanley Park. Apparently it's like a really pretty waterfront area that you can just kind of chill. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Like I think that's the only thing I really know about Vancouver is that they have Stanley Park. And they have really great food, obviously. One thing I will say about Vancouver is that it definitely feels more like a city than Seattle because it just is bigger, more developed, and there's a lot more high rises. And so it just feels more like a big city. Whereas Seattle is definitely more still in its development phases, I would say. Today is a really beautiful day which I think just makes everything so much better because Seattle has been super super freaking rainy and cloudy and cold so coming to Vancouver and having a little bit of sun is nice I'm 
Hello friends, so today I'm actually making some bread and it's not just any bread it's my boyfriend's family's recipes sweet raisin bread it's so delicious my boyfriend's dad makes it every single holiday season um, for the christmas and so i really wanted to bring back the recipe and make it myself and i've actually already done this once last weekend or two weekends ago we already made bread first time around it was okay but we, we had some hiccups here and there this week we decided to try it again as you guys saw we just put together the ingredients made the dough and now it's sitting in a warm place to rise and we're gonna go take a look at it and then i'm gonna split it up into little bread pans just to clarify the reason this dough is living in this large storage container box it's because this recipe makes five loaves since it's like a family recipe we're just following what was made i think one year we tried to proportion it based on just like one one or two loaves and it did not turn out well so we're just sticking to the recipe not trying to change anything around so that it doesn't mess up the actual result but let's take a look honestly i think she looks pretty good it says to wait for the dough to double in size i think she has my bread pans i have one that looks like this because this is the first bread pan that we ever got really nice actually ceramic and it was only like 15 dollars. and then we got these two other bread pans that are not as cute but they still get the job done so we're gonna butter these and then split the dough into five portions put three of them in here let the rest rise and then pop them in the oven to i think rise for like another hour and a half or so it's kind of crazy Now we're gonna cut this into five equal pieces. It is a little later now and the bread that's in the oven has started to rise a little which is good we're gonna take some time to make the breadcrumbs now it's like a sweet topping that goes on top of the bread it's just butter flour and sugar but it tastes so freaking good and i think without it the sweet raisin bread is just not complete Alrighty friends, our bread is done cooling and we're about to cut one open. And yes, I do have my Christmas decorations up still, so don't judge me. She is a bit concaved. That's okay. All right, the moment we've been waiting for. I'm not even gonna grab a plate because I just wanna try some. Mmm, it's good. This always tastes so good with a bit of salted butter. The butter adds the perfect amount of salty creaminess. Success. Some of y'all might remember my entryway makeover video that I did. I'll link it up here if you haven't seen it yet. It's still a work in progress, as you can tell, but I have one new addition to the entryway, and that is these coat rack hooks. I know it looks super plain and simple, but I think if you guys had watched that video, the entryway makeover video, I was debating where to put this shoe rack. We ended up putting it here for now. We'll see if we actually end up liking it, but figured putting this right above is perfect, right? from Amazon, believe it or not. And I'm very impressed because I thought that this would be really hard to put together, but like y'all saw, I just pulled the string and made a little pretty bow. Cream 
tomato garlic pasta. So good. Yeah, and then we have the broccoli and roasted red pepper. Yes, for balance. <laughs> for balance. <laughs> 